こんにちは。福岡ナオのネクです。私はもう福岡23年に住んでいます。Uh, I think I'll speak in English. My name is Nick Saz. I'm from Toronto, Canada. I've lived here in Fukuoka for 23 years. And I'm the publisher of Fukuoka Now magazine and the Fukuoka Now、uh, online website. We're a guide for、uh, local residents and also visitors from overseas for Fukuoka and all of Kyushu, helping people get to know the area and, and, and have a good time here. Fukuoka is the sixth largest city in Japan with a population of about 1.5 million people. And、uh, it's the largest city on the island of Kyushu. It's the gateway to the rest of Kyushu. Fukuoka is a great place for visitors to Japan because instead of just going around to a collection of famous tourist spots, Fukuoka offers a glimpse into real, everyday Japanese life. Fukuoka is、uh, considerably smaller than Osaka or Tokyo. It's a, a modern city, it's got all the, you know, a lot of stuff to do great shopping, great places to eat and drink, and things to do.、Uh, yet it's more relaxed, easier to get around, it's more spacious. I think it offers for foreigners an easy opportunity to get a glimpse of real Japan. Another great thing about being here in Fukuoka or visiting Fukuoka is easy access to either、uh, the beaches, they've got splendid, wonderful beaches, and access to the mountains is only 20 30 minutes away too. Well, I'd like to take you to a temple here in Fukuoka called Tochoji. And、uh, Buddhism was one of my first interests and the reason that I came to Japan, I think you'll find this really interesting. This is、uh, a Buddhist temple called Tochoji. And as I mentioned before, I've got a personal interest in Buddhism myself. It's one of the reasons why I came to Japan. Well, I like Buddhism because it's not a religion to me, it's more a philosophy. And also, it gives a chance for us to you know, study ourselves. And、uh, I like just the, the peacefulness of it. Well, one example where you see、uh, the influence of Buddhism in everyday life here in Japan would be the practice of bowing. You'll see Japanese bowing when they say hello, when they say goodbye, even when they're on their phone, you'll see them bowing all the time. And I think that that's an example、uh, from Buddhism of cutting one's ego by bowing. You're making yourself vulnerable to the other person. Right now we're in Daimyo. Well, in Daimyo, there's quite a mix of shops. Primarily, it's, it's famous for fashion shops, lots of boutiques, independent brands, some local brands. And、uh, actually, some imported goods as well、um, restaurants, bars, cafes. And yeah, here's a, a traditional Japanese sweet shop, which has a really long history here in the, in the town. And、uh, yeah, they even have my favorite Japanese sweet. It's called Ohagi. Ohagi, o i s h i n e If you're looking for a place for a cup of coffee and maybe a little bit more, something interesting, check out this cat cafe. This is Mandarake, a very famous shop in Fukuoka located in Daimyo. It's dedicated to everything about manga, anime, figures. Uh, toys, games, game software, and、uh, cosplay goods as well, too. It'd be ideal for anyone who's into collecting this kind of stuff. Nakasu. Nakasu is the biggest entertainment nightlife district in Western Japan. There's literally hundreds, if not thousands, of bars, restaurants, cabaret, all kinds of、uh, places, nightlife spots. Yeah, actually, this is one part of town where you're pretty well guaranteed that you can see some women dressed in traditional Japanese kimono. It's actually quite beautiful. Well, we're going to go to、uh, one of my favorite restaurants in this area. It's called Nakasu Daini. 
This is a very unique spot here in, in the area of Nakasu. It's an old reformed home. As you can see, there's a, a garden right here, and we're in one of the dining rooms. There's also a counter bar, and on the second floor, there's a lounge area with sofa seating and some antiques, and uh, it's just a really fabulous, uh, unusual, but unique place. Fukuoka is famous for Japanese food, uh, inexpensive and delicious, but it's also well known for uh, international foods, ethnic food, what could be Italian, French, uh, Thai or Chinese, Korean, what have you. People with various tastes and foods, there's something for everybody in this city. Well, after we've had our dinner here, we might check out one more bar in the casa and have one more drink. Now off to the Yatai. Here it is. This is Hakata Ramen. Famous uh, last night, late night snack at the Yatai. And this will be my last meal of the day. Wake up early tomorrow. We're going to go check out the beautiful surroundings of Fukuoka. We're going to visit Yanagawa. That's it. See you tomorrow. Good morning, we're at Ohana. And I'd like to start the day with a traditional Japanese breakfast. Breakfast includes a grilled fish, uh, egg, and rice, and soup, salad, and uh, some vegetables, local vegetables. After we have uh, breakfast here at Ohana, we're going to, going to uh, head over to the canal area and we're going to ride in a river boat and see some of the sights of Yanagawa. Well, we're in Yanagawa on the very famous uh, canals. Getting out on one of these river cruises uh, shows you how much uh, beautiful nature there is in Fukuoka. It's tranquil, uh, quiet, uh, peaceful. The sound of the river, the sound of the birds chirping, and yeah, it's just a beautiful time. Well, the canals were originally built for protection for the uh, local castle, and then they were used for irrigation. And more recently, now they're used for uh, taking tourists on these river boats. The boatmen will sing songs, local folk songs, especially when they go under the bridges, and with the echo from the bridges, uh, hearing their songs is, is really nice. We're in Nagasaki City, in an area known as Dejima. In the mid-15th century, actually, the first trade be between Europe and Japan began, but they became concerned about the spread of Christianity, and that's why they created this island of Dejima, to control both trade and the spread of Christianity. The first the Portuguese used it, and then the Dutch took over and used it for over 200 years. And within that time is when they brought in some of the very first uh, bits of products and technologies such as beer, chocolate, coffee, and tomato. Japan's very first piano was actually brought in here in Dejima. Another interesting bit of history is during the Napoleon takeover of Europe, Dejima was the only place in the world where the Dutch flag was flying. Well, after all this walking around, it's time for something more relaxing. I'd like to take you to Kuroko Amsan in Kumoto. This is uh, the part of the trip I've been looking forward to the most. We're in Kurokawa Onsen. It's a very famous uh, Japanese hot spring spa. The inn that we're staying at here, right where we're at right now, has accommodations, separate accommodations for each guest. Most of the rooms have an indoor and an outdoor bath, which is just lovely for you know looking at the, uh, the beautiful nature as well. Also behind me are the uh, larger public baths, and there's one for men and one for women. Hot spring spas like this are really popular with the people from the cities like Fukuoka. They come out here on the weekends to de-stress, to relax, and to get healthy. Well, another interesting thing about the Kurokawa Onsen area, there's about 24 different inns. All of the inns have their own indoor and outdoor baths, but for a small fee, you can get a special pass. 
With that pass, you can roam around and try the other onsen, the other hot spring bass from the neighboring inns. So you can experience different types of waters, different types of bass. It's a great way to get the full hot spring experience. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing a bit of Fukuoka and Kyushu. I think I'm gonna just kick back here and enjoy this beautiful hot onsen. Sayonara. <laughs>